Okay, we're here at the Sean Hunt's uh, Lofts to get a race and lofts again. We promised we'd come back and follow up from the first uh, video we done on the young ones. We we'll asked Sean how we get on with the young board season. Yeah, we had a uh, very good season with the young boards. We had Cherry um, delighted. We uh, won the young boards for our fifth year running uh, Fed Champions with the young boards, you know. So we had a very good season with them, we did, you know. Of course, yeah. Five years on the trot, that was the uh, how how do you get on the overall averages? Yeah, well, we, again, there's a third year. We, we won the overall, the combined averages as well. Uh, third year winning that year on, on the bounce, you know. Ah, super flying, super flying. What was your standout performances with the young pigeons uh, last year, would you say? Well, we had a super result we did uh, one of the weeks there. We took uh, six in the fourth fed. We did uh, with nine, just over 9,000 pigeons we did. We took the fourth six, you know. So, uh, we're delighted with that area, you know. Super, yeah, super, yeah, yeah. We use club champions as well, we use, yeah, yeah we are club, ch club champions again, obviously, yeah. But won't you win the, the Fed now? It just doesn't be big, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, really uh, super performance. Take the four six and the several Fed uh, any given week, it, it's absolutely fantastic, you know. Yeah. Uh, we were a bit with the, the few other lads uh, in the town I seen. I know I was out in Portugal. I was, and uh, some Portuguese fella come over with a pigeon that he's put in the Algarve race that he bred nothing but winners, and he was looking to see could he get some of your pigeons uh, again. So these are nearly famous out in Portugal as well. Yeah, that's it. We didn't actually go into the one lap race this year ourselves, but um, there were a couple of youngsters we had in the year before, and the man bought them, and they done very well for them this year. But. Uh, we're going to go back there ourselves next year and have a crack at that as well, Jerry. You know? yeah, that, that, that's super. There's a few of the lads in England doing well with the pigeons as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, There's a fancy out there in Liverpool now racing my young boards, um, Lane Frost in Liverpool. And he um, had a super season over there. I think he's only 13 of our youngsters starting off. There were 60 pigeons. He won, um, what did he won? He won five races. Five of them were uh, my own direct one three nine pigeons you were and five different winners you were you know and he was second in the in the his sixth race and that was one of our one three nines as well and um, he was pipped for the mile averages with the young board so he the super season with them Jerry you had you know so, they are super pigeons so it just shows you anybody can uh, sort of race these pigeons they're, they're really good I remember in, in the first video we done we had a bit of a bet the two of us uh, I wonder what was the outcome of that or yeah, well, as you know, I owe you that ten hour journey, so uh, I'll catch you for a point one of the nights. Yeah. But um, as you said, you, you have the cane, I with the experience, you know, when you picked out the right pigeon, it come on and scored very well, and the one I picked didn't, so uh, I jinxed my pigeon, you know. So I might be able to go out tonight, so. I don't know, you don't get too far in that journey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, have you any of the pigeons there that done well? Maybe the pigeons that top the fed there? Uh, would you yeah. get that and yeah, we'll have a look at it? Yeah? yeah. Okay, Sean, you've got a pigeon here. What's this pigeon here you have? What did he do? Yeah, this is a young cock. Um, he's just going through the mount there at the minute, so he's not in, he's not in the best of condition, Jerry. But um, it's just the point of the year, the end of the season. They're all falling the sun that year, you know. But he was force fed uh, with that race where we took the four six in the fed and. Um, uh, well, just over 9,000 pigeons, he was uh, he was the first one on the board, he was, you know. Did the six of them come together? Yeah, drop, drop the six, Jerry, you know, so in their own right, he got six fed poppers to you, you know. Oh, yeah, super, So yeah. he yeah. was forced on the board on that day, you know. He's, a nice, he's gone through a nice steady molt as well, which you'd like to see as well. Yeah, he's Had a on, and he's hand, Yeah, I understand that he's handling really, really well. So he's a really, and I think he's a young cock, uh, so will he be on the widowhood system next year? This yeah, cock? He, he's going on to the widowhood next year. We're going to be racing 12 widowhood cocks next year, and then um, I'll, I'll be hunting for another twist out with him, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's there, the, the new section going on the end, that's where the, where the couple of widowhood cocks are going to go. Yeah, we're going to get that a crack next year. So Jerry, the lads are, the lads are going to be. A little bit in trouble next well, year. We, we see, I don't usually race. I don't usually race me cocks as um, as yearlings, you know. But um, we've been missing out the last couple of seasons, and so we're going to give it a bash this year and uh, hopefully be able to get the cocks going, Jerry. You know. What way is this fellow bred? Yeah, funny enough, Jerry, he's actually a half brother. He is to our back-to-back -back pigeon. And back-to-back and back is for people that don't know. Well, anyone that doesn't know, back to back is one of the very few pigeons in the history of the Irish out of fed that top the fed uh, week after week from 9,000, 9,500 pigeons. Um, you know what I mean? So he's a very rare pigeon, he is, Jerry, um, to achieve that. And that's a half brother to him, there it is. And um, I was delighted to see we, 
we've great success with that line this year. I think we've three winners out of that line, and um, so that's it. Yeah, that's that's where he's coming from. You know, he'd be coming down with the rocket as well. Would he? Would the rocket be in? Uh, the rocket be in him? No, no. We, the rocket isn't in him now. But uh, he's from. Um, he's a son of Maximus. He is. You know, the sort of back-to-back um, crossed out. So he's down from our August Bellin family. But we um, have another hen in there now, I'll give you a look at her in the old board. She topped the fed, she's a daughter of the rocket, she is Jerry, you know? Oh, super, yeah, 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 because the rocket is definitely a superstar, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's, he's the, read all the, all the, he's the main man of the law, he is Jerry, yeah. I'll and just give it. you back that. Maybe, yeah. maybe get a look at the other hen yeah, top we'll the top the fed. So this is a daughter of the rocket here, Jerry, 161. The Baron hen, she is um, she's a su super racing pigeon for us. She's four force clubs, she's a force fed. She was seven best all board in the Fed 2015. Um, she's a super racer. She comes out and gives us a win every year. She did, you know. We think she's topped the Fed out with six, six and a half thousand pigeons. She did, you know. This year? Um, not like 2015. It was. Oh, was it? Yeah. This year, I think she was third or fourth Fed. She was, you know. She's an absolute cracking ass. She's win four or four since the start. She's four or four, yeah, which is uh, another uh, super feat. As uh, very few pigeons have done that in air club, Jerry. I could imagine, yeah. You know? it? What type of board is it? The Sarsfield Weekly uh, rough, uh, rough estimate. Well, it's usually from 700 to 1,000 pigeons, Jerry. You know them type, type of numbers, you know. So um, it's a very good board this year, you know, as well. I thought it was and dead level. See there, she's not fully through the mold, she's not, you know. Yeah, she's but, a lovely um, hen, you can see, you can feel the class and a little short back wing in her as well, where all the speed is coming from. She's a she's a class hen, yeah. Well, and that, uh, that's what I look for in me hens now, you know. And so, she won again this year, again, yeah, yeah. Every year now, she's every year she's had to come in and give us a win, Jerry, you know. And ah, super she would hen. score consistently a lot with that as well, you know. She'd have three or four cards then every year as well, she would, Jerry, you know. Unfortunately, she's not laying there. Yeah, well, that's it. Well, that's the only reason she's still in the loft, you know, because uh, as I said, she's a daughter of the rocket, she is, and um, she's barren, you know, she's never laid an egg, unfortunately, you know, so um, we've, we've now choice but the race, so, but she she keeps doing, doing, the, doing the business, so uh, we're happy enough for her in the loft, already, you know. And she's a direct author of the number one cock the rocket, yeah? Yeah, she's a direct author of our the Ace August Belling Pigeon, the rocket. He's the he's a, a main stock cock, he is, you know. And then um, that's it. So he down from the August Bellum family. Have so you got brothers? Uh, this hand in the stock live or sisters of this? Uh, yeah, well, this actually, full brother of the horde is in the stock live trigger. He was the champion young board in the Irish South Road Fed um, 2015 as well. He the Forge Club second open he had out of a couple of thousand pigeons and um, hit on a decimal he was to win the open, you know. So, um, and then Mohor being Barton as well as we we stocked him, and he he's bred as a fed topper last year. He's wet as well. He did, you know. I think I remember he was getting beaten by the decimal point because I was here. I think uh, a couple of weeks before, and some of the pigeons lit on the roof a lot, and I said you should stop them from doing that. And if you took my advice then and got them to hit the board, you would have won the open. Well, that's that's it. You know, we've been looking in the open. Do you know what I mean? Two second opens being on decimals on both occasions, and then. Um, but that's it, you know, like if you don't get a good trap, you're gone, you're, you're not gonna, yeah, you might not even win your club, don't mind your, um, don't mind the Fed with the level of competition we're racing against, Jerry. Yeah, I tell you, just look, she's an absolute cracking hen, you can see she's a very intelligent hen, it's just a mortal sin that she's actually not laying eggs, because I'm sure she would have been one of your top, one of your top hens, yeah, she's absolutely yeah, cracker, she's she is. She's a super racer, Jerry, it's, I mean, it is a pity about her, but if we can get another win out of her next year, which I'm fully confident they're doing. Uh, we won't complain too much, Jerry. You know. Did you take the four six as well? I think in the old words, did you in the Sarsfield Pigeon Club? Was yeah, the yeah. We had a we the we the super win there that week as well. We took the four six in the old boards in the down in the Sarsfield Club. We think there was seven or eight hundred pigeons in that Some race, Jerry. You know. Flying, yeah, yeah. And did the uh, six pigeons come together? Or did they come individually? Or? No, it was a drop of six, Jerry. You know what I mean? Fair that's yeah. what. Um, that's well. That, that's what I, tr I try to get the pigeons coming like as a team performance, you know. I don't really be happy if I see a pigeon on his own two or three minutes ahead of the other ones, you know. So I always look for the team performance, you know. Yeah. The last time we were here, the pigeons were just starting to scoot around the skies. How long after that did you put them into shape and get them training? And yeah, well, as I said, like, I like to take the youngsters. I like to take the time with the youngsters, you know. I don't be in a rush with them. Not like the Eddie fella having the bank through the traps when they're only a few weeks old, you know. 
Yeah, well, like Eddie done all right as well. Yeah, you know, Eddie had a super season, fair play to him. Eddie flew very well as well. But now I, I like to take my time with the youngsters and then um, <coughs> we start training whatever it is four or five weeks out from the first race. So maybe then four or five weeks before that then so you're looking at probably ten weeks out from the first race I would uh, I'd want to get them going flying and that jetty you know mm, so if um, strong, yeah. yeah so if they're just sitting around and that I'll give them a little push and uh, I'll get them going then I will you know yeah 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 well I my confidence was up after uh, the first video we done that I was out drinking and a chap challenged me to a good bet on news for the young board, uh, the young boards, and I, I took them up in the bet, and I won a nice sum of money. I did, so happy days, happy yeah. story all round. That's it, that's it. I'm doing a bit better this year, a bit with a bit of luck regards money anyway, Jerry. Jeez, yeah, don't mention the war. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> don't so, mention yeah. the war. But you said as well, uh, Sean, that you would let us know uh, in the next video about you know supplements, what you put in the water, what you put in the food uh, for the young boards. Maybe just quickly uh, go through it. You know, starting starting probably when they come home on a Saturday to, the, to go racing the following Friday. Yeah, well, I oh, oh, was very little, Jerry, you know, like, you'd be surprised how our we use, you know, and um, I tell everybody the same thing, you know, like, it, it's not in the bottle, you yeah. know what I mean? It's definitely not in the bottle, but... Um, it's amazing the amount of people out there that actually believe that it is, anybody that's flying really well, that they think it has to be... Uh, something in a bottle I always say what well, should be done with them people they should be made spend a full week with someone that's racing really well and see the actual work that has to go in to get pigeons to uh, win races you know yeah. someone says to me before and I think he was right the, the stuff in the bottle it's called diesel up and down that road you that's, know that's it exactly yeah well our own are very you're not as you know yourself we, we do we, we train them very well they're training twice a day they are and um, <coughs> And that's it. Regards to regards to supplements and that, like I do my best not not to treat them with anything antibiotics wise, unless they need it, you know. So um, and, and I, I do, everything I do in the loft is built towards the peak, towards the weekend every week, you know. So early on in the week, you know, they might be a bit sluggish, they might be a bit slow, they get the extra bit of feeding and that, and then towards the end of the week, then I go towards all the the energy based products, you know, like um. Well, the, the supplements I use are from Fraser's, you know, so I use all his energy based products towards the end of the week, which are Friday or Thursday and Friday before they go racing, just to give them a kick in energy levels. Um, and Can you it, give us the names of any of this stuff yeah, well, that, look, you, you, that you use, you know, that's what people are looking like. Yeah, I, I use the Pro Cell every Thursday and Friday. It's uh, an iron and B12 uh, vitamin from Fraser's, and then I also use the, the Glyco Boost on the corn I do, you know. What um, days do you put that on? Thursday and Friday, Jerry. You Thursday know, Friday, yeah. early, early in the week then, um, early in the week then, Monday to Wednesday then, just as s simple as it is, I use apple cider vinegar. You know, on the return from the race then, with uh, vitamins and electrolytes in the water, and I will give them fresh vitamins and electrolytes on Sunday. So that's Saturday, Sunday. Monday to Wednesday is apple cider, and then Thursday to Friday is the energy-based products, and along with the feeding and that as I told you before Jerry everything is built to, to peak towards the weekend it is you know so um you know I, I, I switch me I, you know I use the high protein and yeah, we saying, I early on then, yeah. in the week and then towards the end of the week I switch to the um to the carbs and the fats which will fill the pigeons full of energy um for the weekend race you know so that's it like you know that's it, Jerry, yeah. Super, ba yeah, Basically, yeah. anyway, you know, we could go into it a bit more, but um, anybody that asks me, I tell them the same, you know, so... So basically what you're saying, down to real, real good pigeons, and that's what it is, and it's proven with a few of the people around the town that have got a few pigeons from you that are doing really well. Yeah, they are, they are really good uh, pigeons. I think you're going to give us six for the Super 6 auction at the Dublin show, are you? Yeah, that's right, Jerry. Yeah, I've, um, have you got something super uh, picked out? Yeah, I do, Jerry. Yeah, well, this will be this will be the first time that we'll be putting up. Um, I'll be putting up uh, a pair of youngsters off the rocket, you will, you know. So they will be um, they will be full sub siblings to this uh, hand, the one six one hand, the Baron hand, you so. know, and um, along with whole brothers and sisters, all federation winners and best young board in the fed. And this will be the first time now. I've, I've pulled up um, a pair of youngsters from the rocket, so um, 
you know, we be putting be the best in the yeah, yeah, yeah. What else have you anything else? Uh, yeah, well, you have, um, we have a full board at the back, the back down up as well. Super, that's the double federation winner, yeah? Yeah, I have a full board at the him going up as well, Jerry. And um, so he'd be a half brother to the, the other federation winner as well that you handed there earlier on the young board, you know. And then we have, um, what else have I got there? We have, a da we have a daughter of Ruby going up when, when she's paired to uh, one of our top boys, Bell and Cox Zeus. Um, so that'll be another super young star. Oh, Ru yeah. Ruby is a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, she was a super race and oh, she's yeah, proven yeah. to be um, a, be a better breeder, Jerry. You know, like she brothers Ruby Rue. The <coughs> champion all board in the Irish South Old Fed and the champion all board in the IHU Southern Region. She had some super performances, she topped the Fed, and um, so she's a, she's another super pigeon from that. So, would the pigeon in the, in the auction be a half uh, brother, the, half sister, or the full? A uh, half, half sister, the real be real, um, along with our brothers and sisters, like we've, we've count as winners down from uh, the real be line, I do, Jerry, you know. Yeah, so exciting. Look forward, looking forward to that. Yeah, so there be some superstars of the sale, all right, no doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah, well, we believe that. Um, you know, on that day, I know my pit, my pigeons when they're in top form. You know, I, I don't, I don't think they'd be beaten, Jerry. You know, so I think they're as good as anything out there in Europe uh, over the sprint distance. You know. Well, they proved it here in Dublin, as I say. As I always say, some of the top pigeons from Europe have come into Dublin and uh, some of them didn't wash, you know, they, they just didn't make it. So obviously the, the damage these pigeons are doing, they are uh, super pigeons, yeah, yeah. Well, we'd like to thank you for uh, your time here today, Sean, to give us a little rundown of the pigeons. I'm glad you're a champion. I won me bet. You lost your bet <laughs> yeah. to me, which I still haven't received, I want to say. Put it on <laughs> yeah. camera. Although I might let him offer it because uh, the bet that I did win on these pigeons was uh, good. So we let him get a point out of it, I think. Because I knew it was a formality, me, my judgment against his anyway. That's it, that's it. Fair play to you. Thanks for dropping out, Not Eddie. A and, uh, thanks, Eddie. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure we'll see you again shortly. Yeah? Okay, thank you.